I'm Eric, I'm a game designer, and today we're going to analyze the game design of CrossCode, discuss how CrossCode immerses you into its world through logic and explanations, and highlight how CrossCode can build on so many different mechanics to present the player with variety without overwhelming them. CrossCode is a simulation of reality, not our reality, but the reality in the game as the game differentiates itself between two worlds, the real world and a simulation, which is recreated as an MMO experience. You are an avatar, belonging in the MMO world, a simulation outside of reality. Through this distinction between two worlds, the game can logically explain mechanics to you. For example, the reason for why you weren't able to dodge before, is because your dodging abilities weren't installed yet. It also helps the game maneuver itself through difficult situations. Let's say you have a silent protagonist in your game. How are you going to explain the reason for why this protagonist is silent? It is a conundrum, which often leads to unanswered questions or immersion-breaking reasons. But in CrossCodes, it can simply be explained by saying that the speaking module hasn't been installed yet that the main character's software was corrupted. Because you are playing a game within a game, everything within the gameplay experience can be explained, without you ever thinking twice on whether this is a plausible explanation or not. These explanations are communicated through dialogue, which can be you having a direct conversation with someone in the environment, or someone talking to you from a distance in real time. These messages which appear without interrupting the gameplay helps add context to what you're doing. Someone talking about a problem you're facing or giving you some useful information. Furthermore, it helps pacing the experience. Without breaking up the pattern of what you're doing, it manages to add some spice to it, providing feedback which you weren't expecting, but still provided a welcome reward for your exploration. This is where the strength of CrossCode reveals itself. It is the variety of what you are encountering. There is story, combat, puzzles, exploration, progression. The game constantly presents you with different type of adventures. There is often a risk attached to presenting so many different elements within one game. But CrossCode pulls it off because of how it thematically ties everything together and builds upon your previous knowledge. A new area presents new enemies and puzzles. But these new elements are always designed around the world, not the other way around. For example, in a snowy landscape, you see what you were expecting. There's snowmans attacking you, and there are puzzles supporting the idea of ice and cold. Everything makes sense in the world, and is also more easily understood, because you've already done many things before, just with a different twist. CrossCode has taught you the fundamentals of all these mechanics before. Through repetition, it focused on showing you what your mechanics were capable of. And now, in all these subsequent worlds, it shows you how it can interact with interesting environmental puzzles, which are thematically tied to the environment, and a natural progression of what you have already learned. With every new twist on a mechanic, the boundaries of what you were expecting to be possible are expanding. It is engaging to explore the opportunities of something which is so familiar to you. As a result of CrossCode's narrative approach, CrossCode's dialogue and CrossCode's game design, everything in the world is more believable and allows you to fully immerse yourself in the simulation of an MMO. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Game Designer Plays. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I would highly appreciate that. And then I hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.